Today, the Texas A&M University system acknowledged and apologized for the mistakes that were made during the hiring process relating to a professor recruited to lead the university's new journalism program. Today, Kathleen McElroy and Texas A&M released a joint statement on the issue and announced that a million dollar settlement was made. News 3's Donnie Tuggle has been digging through the report the university released to us and joins us live in the news center. Donnie. Katie, the report, which includes hundreds of emails and text messages, outlined what was going on behind the scenes during the recruitment of Dr. Kathleen McElroy. Despite previous statements, those same emails show that former A&M President Kathy Banks was aware of contract changes for McElroy, and there were concerns expressed throughout the system about race, politics, and other issues. In a review release Thursday, the Texas A&M Office of General Counsel detailed the chain of events that contributed to the failed attempt to hire Dr. Kathleen McElroy as a member of the faculty and director of the new journalism program. Among them, the report outlines a failure to follow established policies and procedures that govern faculty hiring. Included in the review were text messages indicating system officials commented on McElroy's race during the hiring process, but the report insists the comments were based on a subjective belief that certain outside parties critical of the hiring might have been motivated by race. They say no Texas A&M officials indicated that race was a factor in the hiring decisions. We also confirmed that politics was a concern for the university and that the former president was aware of the multiple changes to McElroy's contract, despite claiming she was unaware that the contract offers were watered down. We are in a situation where we have an offer that was released without the proper approvals. I, um, I'm surprised by that. In a series of text messages between system officials, Banks acknowledges the multiple contract changes and other text messages reference an attempt to cover up the situation. Texting, quote, I assume all texts were deleted. In light of the recent challenges faced by Texas A&M, interim president Mark Welsh told us Wednesday before the report was released that it's time for the university to move forward and fix the root of the issues. If whatever we screwed up, we need to say we did it and we're going to, here's what we can do to do better. I, I, if you try and hide it, it becomes a bigger story than it was before. Right now, there's something, something happened that wasn't right. Let's all figure out what it was. Let's move on. If you are interested in reading that report, we have it posted with this story on our website. Live in the News Center, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Donnie, thank you. Today, the university also released the results of its investigation into comments made by Dr. Joy Alonzo. Back in March, the professor was temporarily suspended following reports of comments she made concerning Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. The report shows System Chancellor John Sharp got a call from the Lieutenant Governor about the comments. The university's review found there was no evidence that Alonzo made unprofessional or inappropriate comments about the lieutenant governor. Dr. Alonzo, she is a class act. She's a really valued professor in her department. She handled all of this with incredible grace. The Texas A&M Faculty Senate is also investigating what happened in the situations involving McElroy and Alonzo.